What's up guys? I wanted to look at a replay where someone lost. I feel like usually 90% or almost all of my videos are about winning matches. So I want to go on the contrary and be like, hey, why does this left track lose the game? I have not watched this game previously. I'm going to be looking at it from a completely objective standpoint and we'll see what he does wrong. The mid lane role is for star players, which is why at GameLeap.com we've designed an in-depth course teaching you every trick and concepts pro players abuse to crush the middle lane. There's no better role than mid to solo carry your ranked games, so hit the discount link in the description below to unlock your unfair advantage. Alright, first things first, your item build, sir. Like, no no one goes this. N no one goes this. First off, you should have shared tangos. You should have a branch, a fairy fire, and then your build is fine. That's all you need. Shared tangos, branch, fairy fire, and your build is okay. Also, you're not buying a salve, which is the biggest mistake possibly in Dota. Like, li literally, there's not a larger mistake in Dota besides not buying a salve in the mid lane. There are very, very few matchups, maybe like 5% where you don't buy a salve in the landing stage. Because if the enemy does and you don't, then they can trade better than you. That's just how it works. They essentially have 400 more HP than you. Also, what I'm noticing here is that you stand very far away from the creeps in an okay matchup, right? Like, it's a Viper. What is he going to do? Nether toxin you? You can just walk out of it. Same thing with Viper. He has abysmal items, but that's okay. Regardless, you don't need to be this far away from the creeps, and you should be aggroing them towards you so that it's not as much of a 50-50, right? You don't want to have to 50-50 every creeps. You're going to have to 50-50 some. Okay, you should definitely nuke this. This should definitely be a stun. No, nuke it, nuke it. Okay, if you're a hero with a nuke in the mid lane, nuke the range creep 100% of the time. Many times you want to be nuking melee creeps as well just to push in the lane early, especially if you can nuke the lane twice. It's something I used to do on Puck a lot when I was a Puck spammer. Consistently nuke the first melee creep and the range creep, and this would push the wave under the enemy's tower, and then I would deny a lot of creeps under their tower. In addition here, you're missing 150 HP, and you don't eat a tango. Gotta eat tangos, guys. Like, eat your tangos. Like, why aren't you eating your tango? Like, bro, eat your tango. Something actually important to also note about this matchup is you can actually win Electric versus Viper if you play aggressive enough, only predicated on the idea that you're eating a branch at the beginning of the lane so that you are consistently getting Tango regen while you're hitting him. Because when he has another Toxin at level 1 and only 3 Tangos, he's actually abysmally weak. The spell does very little in the laning stage considering you can just walk out of it and he can't actually keep you in it. He had low regen so if you had a salve and pushed him with like your nukes and tried to read stuns and such like that and just auto attacked him with more regen you would have won the lane. So what I would recommend in the future is you buy you could even buy two salves like if you really want to dumpster this guy but at, at least buy one and then you buy two mangoes then buy your null talisman and you'll actually start winning the lane as long as you're spamming your spells on the viper as well as auto attacking him in between last hits right. Don't go crazy and don't only auto attack that's how you also lose the lane you have to mix it if there's no last hit or deny to get then you should hit your opponent because like how you're doing is fine your cs is not too too bad to be honest it's obviously not optimal right uh sanking up here a bit above you obviously always the goal in dota if you're trying to improve is be on the top as a core player because it's it's definitely possible in the majority of games uh, especially when you're improving before you get to the top but yeah this this isn't too bad i'm not a huge fan of your skill build i think it's th this one's okay it's all right but considering you're in a relatively winning matchup which is against the Viper, and he's going to jungle at some point. I would love if you took your Edict early, or even potentially just uh, skip the Landing Storm, simply based on the idea that Viper wants to jungle, right? So because Viper wants to jungle, if he goes jungle and you have three points in, in your Edict right now, right, he's legitimately going to lose his tower, like right away. And that's fantastic, because then you'll hit level six, and not only will you have a lot of kill potential, because you have your Diabolic Edict, which is a crazy, crazy spell, but you also have your ultimate, and you can easily gank any side lane, as well as take their tower. And at this point, I'd really prefer you not to be static, right? It, it's not necessarily optimal to be this static as a mid laner, because once you have your ultimate, you can easily push out the wave and start jungling, right? This Viper's just going to outfarm you. Um, maybe not yet. You're probably still doing all right. No, but actually, he is already outfarming you. Yeah, he's just going to start outfarming you if he's shoving in the wave and you're not, right? At some point for mid matchups, if you can't kill each other, it becomes a big game of who can kill the wave first and then jungle. The mid lane basically shifts from who can pressure the other to who can push out mid faster now like this gank is it's okay you're going to gank a slark it seems like this will probably work out you'll at least kill the treant oh you're wasting all the time i would have just taken the treant kill like although slark is a better kill you're wasting so much time okay now you don't even get the kill and you just have to tp back yeah so always like if you're ganking just take your kill and get out because i'm fine with you coming back mid i'm glad that you didn't waste too much time but don't be too greedy when you're ganking just just get what you can uh and and return back to your lane and yeah but i really would have preferred that you pushed into waves and jungle this is not terrible like you're denying his creeps obviously which is fine but you notice but the issue is like oh boy you died you didn't bottle at all right guys if you get gone on you should eat a tango and bottled 
right? He would have lived. Quick bottle here, bottle again. Because poison attack isn't consistent tick damage. It, it ticks every so often. So such is life. But yeah, that, that's another thing. If you consistently AFK in your lane and just sit there, you're gonna get ganked as well by roamers. Like the enemy team in this game doesn't necessarily have a roamer, but that's a big thing to consider, right? It's something you can actually look for as a support as well. Like, hey, this mid laner is just standing still all game. I'm going to go gank him now, right? That That's like a really good way to look at it where uh, you're reading into patterns. And this works well in a lot of situations. You could also be like, hey, this guy is split pushing the last five waves. I wonder what he's going to do next. Hmm. But yeah, you're being way too static. Like, j just your full mana. You have a bottle. You have all your resources. Like, just get in this wave, right? And and start pushing the tower. You have your heart. Like, th there's no reason to just auto attack here. Um... Okay, this is fine, obviously. You shouldn't have auto-attacked the Slark. You're going to take the tower a bit. Because you just want to keep the Edict on the tower. Alright, bottle up. You're missing HP. You have to bottle. Also, should nuke this way. Like, stop autoing this guy and just turn on your ulti. Like, you should run at Slark with your ulti here and stop autoing him. In addition, you could just turn on Edict and take the tower, right? Like, you, you legitimately can kill them both here. If you bottled up and go on them, you kill them both right now. It's somewhat about knowing your limits, but you can easily have taken their tower and now it gets denied, which is really suboptimal. And at this point, when you see three heroes mid, I would be either A, just pushing in the lane, or B, just jungling towards another lane. There's really no reason for you to be here anymore. You don't have to defend this tower. Your AA can do it essentially alone, right? He can just at least drag out the wave and, and delay it. You're, you don't, you're not adding anything. You're just kind of putting yourself in a position to be ganked. Even though this looks like it's fine. No, you're dead. The main thing, guys, as a mid laner is you don't want to be static. I know I keep saying it, but this is the main idea. Like, this whole, like, walking around nonsense is not good. I'm genuinely serious, guys. I think a lot of players are getting... There's a lot of talk about, you know, not jungling, and I'm a big proponent of that. Jungling's bad. But you have to understand that some heroes should jungle. Like, jungling is bad depending on your hero, right? Like, this Wraith King, I have the same issue. Why do you only have 47 CS on Wraith King, right? Like, you're a hero that naturally should jungle. You have eight skeletons. Why are you laning? Especially when you only have your ultimate, why are you laning? You know what I mean? Th there's no reason to delay your timings at all. Th there's just no reason. There's no reason to even bother with this, right? The way you win these games is a very... It it's pattern-based. Like, you can genuinely make your life simple in order to win these games. Watch your pro replay and... Pay attention to two things. When do they A, nuke out the wave, and B, jungle or rotate, right? And if you genuinely copy these things, like timing for timing, you will have so much more success, so much more. Like, you're overthinking the game. Like, there's no reason for you to be staticking mid right now, right? It doesn't make any sense. Like, you're playing this like it's like two minutes in, and you're dead again. Funny enough, there's a, I call this Lincoln Syndrome. A lot of players have it, where it's like, hey, I died to a singular single target spell in the game. My issue must be that I didn't have a Lincoln's. Definitely not my positioning. My positioning had nothing to do with it. It was like, oh boy, you can't push this tower. You are totally not allowed to do this. This is not permitted. You are going to kill Trian. You're not going to kill Trian. Okay, you are going to get out. Okay, that ended up not being that bad. That, that ended quite okay. Uh, but yeah, like, gotta stop the running around. Like, dude, you're full mana. Oh, you're full mana. Just turn on your ulti. Like, wh why are you staying on full mana the whole game? It doesn't make any sense. If you see a lot of pro players, you'll see them shipping out a lot of clarities. You might ask yourself why. I'm always full mana. They must suck. No, it's because they're using their spells to form. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> and now you're dead. Uh, I don't know what to say, brother. I believe in you though. I believe in you. That That's the one thing I will say. If you genuinely just simplify your game and purely nuke wave jungle, nuke wave jungle, and don't take level two ulti on Leshrac, it's a real mana crusher. It doubles the mana per second for only 40 more damage. It's double mana for 40% more damage. It's not worth it. I'm very serious about this. It's not even slightly worth it in general. And yeah, I, I like you're just auto attacking waves. Is there, I, I'm very excited to say this guys, as a core player, if you want to gain a thousand MMR, watch a pro replay, have a sticky note out, and write down every timing of when they farm and when they fight, and copy it to a T. Like, I I'm I'm kind of not kidding. Be like, oh, it's 15 minutes in, and he went bottom to gank. Just do the same thing in your game. You might be like, well, speed. That's, that's so foolish, because... Obviously, like, my game's not the same as their game. Yes, uh, of course. But the thing is, there's a lot of similarities in Dota, and there's reasons pros do things. It's not just, like, freehand figuring the new play out each game. That's not what it is. It's, it's often calculated off certain patterns that apply to a lot of games every game. It's the reason why I have an issue with this Wraith King build, right? Like, he doesn't have a timing. 
Like, you want to build timings as core players very often, right? You want to hit these, like, spikes. That's a great way to play Dota, having spikes and playing around them, right? So if you feel like your spike is at 10 minutes with your ulti on the Shrek and Max Edict, then go pressure, you know, go smoke to some side lane or just run there, farm in that direction. If you think it's later on and it's your level 15 talent, then farm till then, right? Split push. Have an idea of what is necessary to win. And, and you're gonna do so much better because this just seems it legitimately seems random i i don't i don't think there's any pattern the only pattern i'm seeing is that you auto attack and edict waves i mean neutral camps instead of using your ulti and a big part of that is also because you don't have level one ulti so it feels awkward to farm trust me i understand you farming with level two less ulti stinks you really only want level level one all right and like at this point in the game like lincoln's is just so bad it's so bad i don't know that's it's just so bad like, it does nothing against Slark. It does close to nothing against Viper because he's, you're still going to take all the magical damage. Like, maybe you don't get hit by Poison Attack. It does nothing against Phoenix. It's okay against Sanking, but it does nothing against Treant. You're still going to get shredded by all the magical damage. So, it doesn't really keep you alive, per se. It's going to help in some scenarios, obviously. It's not like the item just does nothing. But, like, here, you can't go in, right? Why? Because it only blocks one spell. And they have a bunch of AoE spells. <laughs> And yeah, like, same thing, guys. Copy, I, I honestly feel like the, the title should have just been Copy Pros and you'll win on MMR. One of the things that helped me the most was my ability to, every time I played a new hero, I went on YouTube, I typed in Clinks, or I typed in Storm Spirit. I watched, I'm like, what items did they buy? I copied their items. I'm like, did they farm, yes or no? If they farmed, I farmed. If they fought, I fought. That's it. Why are you making the game hard? Is this fun? Like, if this is fun and you like to just figure it out for yourself, fine. But if your goal is to win, then please do what I say. Like, it will help you so much. So, so much. Because it, that's kind of like a life message. You know what I mean? Like, don't try to do things by yourself if you want to get better. It's so foolish thinking you know better than other people who have been doing it for a long period of time. And you might not even be actively thinking like that. Like, I'm not... I don't believe that this Leshrac wakes up, he's like, Yeah! Yeah! I'm so much better than every 7k player, and I'm just gonna go my Lincolns every game. Like, that's not- I know that's not what's happening, and I-, I you probably don't sound like that either. But the thing is, that's what this mentality somewhat simulates to me, where there's just this unbelievably easy option called the internet that tells you everything you need to know. Use it, you know? Like, it's real hype. I'm using it myself. Like, I even make videos for it. I don't know if you guys knew. On my channel, uh, Game Leap, Dota 2 Guides, you can find some stuff there. I do like the bots and the Kaya, like this is typically the build, my only issue is, once again, you're lacking this BKB timing, and I have a funny feeling you're not going to be buying a BKB at all this game. I could be wrong, once again, I did not look at this game, I could be wrong, but that is my intuition kicking in. Maybe my intuition stoinks, but from what I've been seeing, Lincoln's buyers usually are not BKB buyers. Dota. Okay, so this is some interesting stuff going on here. Oh, you're dead. I wonder if there's an item that allowed you to, to TP out there. Hum. Oh no, Slark had Abyssal, there's, there's no item. In fact, you would need Lincolns and BKB, so... Damn, I guess the Lincolns is just next level. Yeah, but really the strength of Leshrac typically is to play in side lanes, and you haven't done that much at all this game. Uh, and when I mean play in side lanes, I meant like sort of in the more 15 to 20 minute mark range, where you can kind of run it around and just take over the game. And then at this point in the game, your strength is your ability to BKB and run in. Uh, note that I said the word BKB. Yes, you need to BKB run in. You turn on all your spells, you pick a target, and you can kill them. You can even kill very farmed heroes. It's, it's quite insane how much damage your hero can do with the right items. And with these talents, right, the 15 strength com combined with the, the Pulse Nova damage, it's unbelievable spike, really. The, this hero, it's probably one of the strongest heroes in Dota because it has one of the most dominating early games in all of Dota. Like, when you have Edict maxed out and Nova, there's almost no one who can man up to you, especially if you catch them out alone. You take towers alone, you stun people, you slow, it's bonkers, and you have some of the best talents in the game besides level 10, which is, eh, yeah, armor's okay, it's alright, but it's not, it's not like, eh, it's like, eh. So now, quickly, I just want to look at a fight and see how you approach it. Um, honestly, I don't even know how you approach it. If I was you, let's say I took over this game for you, I would honestly be confused on what I'm supposed to do. So you go for the stun on the Slark, which is a mistake because there's no follow-up to it and he's alone, right? So it, it's really a kind of a bad a bad target. And then here you, have, you don't have your Lincolns up, so you have to get out, right? Because Lincolns is your only defensive item in this game, right? Here, um, unfortunately, there's no item that saves you once again. So it's just a positioning issue, right? If there was an item that saved you there, I'd be like, Darn, it's not only positioning. But maybe they'll add that next patch. Like, maybe they'll just put in an item that... Wait, what is this? What is this? Black King Bar? What? Grant spell immunity and 100% magic damage resistance? Duration decreases with each use. 
Oh, this must have been added last patch. What in the world? I mean, that would have been really good for you, this game. That's crazy, though. I feel like it's almost a broken item. I wonder if people are going to be buying it, but I mean, I guess we'll see. Regardless, I mean, I think some of the things you did this game were good. You know, like you did push in waves occasionally top, but the main thing for you is going to be finding out the patterns that the pros use. Because honestly, Dota has one of the best replay systems in the world, guys. Go to any other game and you're going to be like, wow, I, I genuinely cannot watch these replays. They're either lacking something or just really hard to find or use. Dota has the best, if not one of the best in the world. Like take advantage of it. It's, it's beautiful. And there's YouTube content and pro replays and pro matches you can watch on youtube and like pro scrim like it's fantastic it's so good it's so good and it can help you so much if you just drop the ego have some humility and you're gonna crush guys if there's one thing i can recommend to everyone it's that so thanks for watching if you enjoyed and you don't like losing like the video and subscribe we're almost 250k in fact at the point of this video coming out we i think we have it so i'm going to be doing something special soon uh, at least i'm going to make a post soon Asking you guys for ideas for the 150k special. So hopefully I'll see you there. Peace. Tired of being held back by your team? At GameLeap.com we have pro guides covering some of the best heroes in the game to solo carry your ranked games. As well as a course specifically covering the mid lane role. Click on this link right now to take advantage of our special offer for a 25% discount and start your journey today.